June 13, 2014. Scientists researching the Earth's mantle announce that they have found what they believe to be a vast body of water, three times the volume of all of our oceans combined, contained within a mineral layer 400 miles inside the Earth. The discovery shakes the foundation of what scientists and scholars thought they knew about the ground under our feet. We have just scratched the surface of the Earth. Uh, we drilled down like eight miles and we had to stop because it got too hot. Uh, out of uh, 4,000 miles basically to the core of the Earth, we went down eight. That's nothing. We have more than 70 active space programs right now. We can tell you more about the surface of the moon than we can the surface underneath our own oceans. Since we've not actually drilled down far enough to confirm these findings, could it be that we may be wrong about the composition of our own Earth? Some ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest that according to our earliest mythologies, an other Earth might not be found in the heavens, but deep within our own planet. One of the most consistent themes that we find in ancient cultures when we travel around the world is the idea that there is another world, another Earth inside of the planet. Within Buddhism, there's stories of a place called Agartha or Agarti, which is an inner world. And it's inhabited, too, by people, and that they are an advanced race, and even that they have uh, trains and vehicles that are moving through this inner Earth. Is it possible that an other Earth can be located within the confines of our own planet? Historically, underground realms were not relegated to mere mythology. Well-respected scientists and mathematicians have long speculated about a theory that became known as Hollow Earth. The scientist Edmund Haley is most famous for Haley's Comet. He was also very interested in the Earth, and one of the challenges is, was trying to figure out what was the real structure of the inside of the Earth. He had a fascinating theory of not just a hollow Earth, but an Earth with multiple layers. 75 years later, 18th century mathematician Leonhard Euler put forth his own hollow Earth theory with no concentric shells and a sun at the center, spanning 600 miles. Euler was a gifted mathematician. He developed this idea that the planet of Earth is not only hollow, but the poles are actually thinned, and there are actually entrances into the inner core at the north and south poles of the Earth. He imagined that there were advanced civilizations living inside the planet. Ideas of an occupied hollow Earth would be revisited nearly two centuries later, in 1947, when famous polar explorer Admiral Richard Byrd flew reconnaissance missions over the North Pole. Byrd allegedly reported in his private journal about a mysterious land beyond the North Pole, which he called the center of the great unknown. Admiral Richard Byrd was able to fly to the North Pole and back and recorded flying over lush green areas where none should have been. And then three years later, he flew over the South Pole. It's rumored that when Admiral Byrd's task force actually got to Antarctica, that one of the first things they discovered was an entrance into a hollow Earth civilization that was populated by very, very advanced beings. Admiral Byrd made a lot of unusual statements, including talking about what he called a new kind of craft that could fly from pole to pole. And when Byrd got back to the United States, he was brought back to Washington, where he was questioned very heavily about his statements. And allegedly, he was told to stop talking about this. Is it possible that entrances to another world can be found at the Earth's poles? And if so, did Admiral Byrd actually pass through one of them? According to some ancient astronaut theorists, such gateways do exist. If we were to discover the other Earth, the place we have sought, the missing world, it would be profoundly humbling. So this would be quite a paradigm shift. History would change in a very major way.